Thanks for joining us in the Green Room from the Heritage Foundation. I'm Rob Louie, and today we're joined by Senator Mike Lee of Utah. Senator Lee is at Heritage today to deliver the annual Helms Lecture, this year about the Law of the Sea Treaty. Senator, thanks for stopping by to chat. Thank you. Before we delve into policy, I want to begin by asking how you're adapting to Washington, both as a Tea Party conservative and the youngest member of the Senate. Well, I'm enjoying it. We have a lot of work to do. As Americans, we understand that the federal government's gotten too big and too expensive. And this is what we as conservatives stand for. And we understand that in order to protect our freedoms and our economic prosperity, we need to refocus on the fact that the federal government can't be all things to all people. And bad things happen when we try to pretend otherwise. Now, President Obama delivered his jobs bill to Congress this week. You've been quite critical of it. Why do you think this is the wrong plan for America? Well, because this president has already brought us $800 billion in stimulus spending. He's increased the national debt by $4 trillion. And yet, our jobs picture isn't better. In fact, it's worse. He's made it worse. Our unemployment rate is now above 9%. And so we need to not be doing more of the same things that made the problem worse. We need to refocus on getting the federal government out of the way rather than making the federal government part of the problem. Republican presidential candidates have talked quite a bit about Social Security of late, and earlier this year you teamed with some senators to introduce a plan. What would your reforms look like? Well, I, together with Senators Lindsey Graham from South Carolina and Rand Paul from Kentucky, introduced a plan that would make Social Security solvent over the long haul. Uh, permanent solvency, which is defined as uh, 75 years and beyond. And it does so by gradually raising the retirement age, and it does all of this without touching any benefits uh, owed to those who are currently retired or that will be retiring within the next few years. It also imposes some means-based testing so that Warren Buffett doesn't necessarily receive the same benefit. That is, if he were going to be retiring many years from now, wouldn't receive the same benefit that somebody of a, a lower uh, economic bracket might receive. And these things taken together, uh, gradually raising the retirement age and indexing it long term to life expectancy and means-based testing will make the program solvent. Is there any hope of solving the debt crisis that America is facing, Congress enacting any type of reforms? You know, solving it is inevitable. It'll happen at one point or another. The question is how much pain, how much misery our economy has to endure before we do it. The reason I say it'll be resolved eventually is because if we continue to ignore it, we'll be forced into a position of cutting. Uh, but there'll be far more immediate, abrupt, or draconian and painful cuts than I think we would need to make if we did it right now. Now, in your speech at Heritage, you outlined the reasons you were opposed to the Law of the Sea Treaty. The Obama administration would like to see this ratified by the Senate. Tell us why you are opposed. Well, I'm opposed for a number of reasons. They all have to do with the fact that the United States of America is... Uh, a sovereign nation. It's a sovereign nation that protects the rights, the individual liberties of its people, and that has served us well economically and in every other way. I am very hesitant, in fact unwilling, to see the United States part with any portion of its sovereignty w without some really compelling reason and without adequate safeguards being in place to make sure that that sovereignty, that loss of sovereignty, doesn't result in a loss of prosperity or a loss of individual liberty for the American people. Now, as I understand it, growing up, you were friends with Senator Harry Reid's son. Yes. You're now serving alongside Senator Reid in, in uh, the Senate. What's your relationship like with him? Well, as it always has been, it's a good one. I, I, I like Senator Reid, and uh, yeah, he seems to tolerate me pretty well. We don't agree on a lot when it comes to politics, uh, but uh, I, I find him to be a, a kind human being. I, I really like interacting with him on a personal level, and even though we don't agree on most issues politically these days. Um, I, I enjoy the friendship and value it. Senator, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. For the Heritage Foundation, I'm Rob Louie.